Hello. My name is Carly and I love to explore AI video. Have you ever wanted to bring your favorite mid-journey or other static images to life? Now you can, with AI video platforms. AI video has evolved quite a bit over the past year. While today's AI video is not perfect, you may find useful applications among the current technologies. There are several good AI video platform choices, and the number is growing, including Genmo, Runways Gen 1, and Gen 2, Kyber, and Pika Labs. The easiest and often most reliable way to obtain good results from these video creators is to start with an image prompt instead of using text alone. You choose one of your favorite images like the one shown, to seed the video. Choosing an image that implies motion itself or can logically have verbs applied to it to infer actions will work best. For this demonstration, I chose Pika Labs as our video creation platform. Currently, you can use the Pika Labs beta for free with Discord. Here are three getting started steps that worked for me. I hope they work for you as well. Step 1. Open your active Discord account on a tab in your web browser. Step 2. On a separate tab, open the Pika Labs homepage as shown here. Step 3. Click the Join Beta button on the Pika Labs homepage. After clicking Join Beta, you should receive an invitation to accept the Pika Labs bot onto your Discord account. After that, answer a few questions from the bot, and you should be ready to go. Once in Discord under Pika, choose one of the many message threads named Generate, and you'll be able to enter a Pika video creation prompt. In one of the generate threads, you'll type slash create to begin the prompt. Follow slash create with a very simple prompt with a verb or action. The simpler, the better. Then press the tab key on your keyboard. Tab will bring up a bar with the word image, appearing above the prompt line. Click on the word image, that has appeared. You'll be presented with a box to click allowing you to select and upload an image file. This file you are choosing is the seed image for the video. All of my seed images shown here happen to be created in mid-journey, yet you may source your images from anywhere. Some people have a lot of fun animating old family photos as well. Remember, your videos are seen publicly in the Discord threads, and there are content guidelines for the platform. Once your seed image is loaded, press the enter key at the end of the prompt string, and your video creation job is queued. You'll be given a status message like this, signaling that your video creation job is starting. Your image will likely take a couple of minutes to create. The video creation process is complete when you see a message pop up like this. You may now play the video by clicking the arrow button in the center of the video. You may also regenerate the video by clicking the circular arrow button at the lower left. There are limits to how many videos you can create in a certain period of time. You may wish to select the thumbs up button to tell the developers that you like the results. Remember, this beta is free, and, in exchange, Pika Labs would like some feedback to help improve the software. This video result of the robot is good, as far as the running action is concerned. Pika Labs beta is limited to a 3 second video, so I've looped a few of these examples to give a longer duration. In the robot example, the scene at the sides of the robot does not move as the robot is running, yet I think that could change with a zoom prompt or with other improvements to the beta software. You can also type text-only prompts without an image seed, but that is beyond the scope of this video. For the remainder of this demonstration, I'll show some of my seed images and the companion text, followed by the Pika Labs video result. I'll make a few comments along the way. I love how the AI created the actions of the dragon and the actions of the rest of the scene. In the Pika Labs beta, the video output quality was limited, so I've upscaled the videos for your viewing benefit. 
In the prompt for this Egypt image, I called out the tiny people walking on the steps, and the AI picked that up quite well. Surprisingly, I found that the AI made the people walk around, even when removing that portion from the text prompt. I thought this image calling for a rain effect of an anime woman worked very well. And here's a nice campfire. I think that animating fire and weather conditions could be very useful. As mentioned, when you have an image that strongly implies motion, this is where Pika Labs really shines. I really love this example. Thank you for exploring AI video with me. These platforms are young, yet promising. Each video creation platform has strengths and weaknesses, and we will explore some of those in the future on my channel. In the meantime, you may wish to try your hand at the Pika Labs platform capabilities. It's free for now, and you'll learn more about the evolution of AI art in the process. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to keep in touch by providing notifications of my latest content.